डियर स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग ग्रेविटेशन एंड नाउ आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग विद दैट ग्रेविटेशन काइंडली लिसन सो ग्रेविटेशन एंड फिजिक्स राइट सो नाउ यू विल बी हैविंग सम आइडिया ओके फॉर एग्जांपल सो इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट is lying at on the surface of the earth surface of the earth this is radius r and this is mass m this is the point p and this is of mass m so what is the force between gravitational force between these two when it is separated at a distance r so this r is equal to r i can write f is equal to g mass of the earth object divided by r square right so if i am relating this with my force which is acting towards the earth that is my uh, force due to acceleration due to gravity that is f equal to m into g so i am equating these two equations to find my acceleration due to gravity m of g is equal to g m m divided by r square so my m and m gets cancel so g is equal to g m divided by r square which is my important relation right so now i want to know so if this is the earth so everybody understands right so how many of you know exactly what is the uh, mass of the earth so how many of you know what is the density of the earth how many of you know what is the radius of the earth so it is easy to calculate from these things all right so now so i want to understand about uh, this earth right uh, from the given relation i can work out to find out my mass of the earth so my mass of the earth from this relation g equal to gm what i am get m is equal to g of r square divided by g g of r square divided by g so you know the value of g g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square into my radius will be 6.37 into 10 power 6 uh, meter square divided by my acceleration uh, this gravitational constant you will get 9 gravitational constant 6.6 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square kg minus 2 so if i am solving it i am getting approximately my mass of the earth will be equal to 6 into 10 power 24 kg so approximately this is 6 into 10 power 24 kg so this mass could be equal to 6 into 10 power 24 kg so is it necessary to find out this mass so it is for your learning that you should understand that you can calculate the mass from this relation right next if you want to calculate the density so density what is the formula for density density is equal to it is mass by volume mass by volume so density rho is equal to mass is m divided by volume that is 4 by 3 pi r cube is my radius so what i am getting this mass m is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho now i am having my relation m equal to g r square by g and 4 by 3 pi r cube rho so this formula is for my acceleration due to gravity so i am equating these two all right so what i'm going to do is that so this m and this m i'm equating so g r square by g this is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho so what i'm getting this so this rho will be equal to 3 g r square divided by 4 pi r cube into g so r cube sorry this is r cube r square you will get r so you will get rho is equal to 3g divided by 4 pi that is r into your g so what is the density you will get is approximately when you substitute these values so g is equal to you know it is 9.8 meter per second square so pi is equal to 3.14 your radius r is equal to 6.37 into 10 power 6 meters so g equal to uh, 6.6 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square kg minus 2 and you substitute all this you will get rho is equal to so approximately so it is around 
5400 kilogram meter minus cube so that is mass by volume right so this is your density of the earth right so you can calculate density so you can calculate mass of the earth if you know the radius of the earth so these inputs you can keep in mind whenever you are solving out the sums right okay next i'm going moving to one important part that is variation of g so already i explained the acceleration due to gravity it depends on the right height it depends on its depth it depends on shape of the earth and it depends on its rotation so variation of g you can remember it like this variation of g when you are studying right acceleration due to gravity at different positions for example see here so variation of g initially what it could be at a height what it could be at a depth so then what it could be at the shape then the latitude which is the rotation of earth rotation of earth right these things you should keep in mind when you are learning earlier you had determined acceleration due to gravity on various things like acceleration due to gravity you had determined for on object on the surface on a certain height h right it is here at this position r uh, and on the surface these three things right now i want to find my acceleration due to gravity at a height h so keep this in mind for a particular period of time i keep this on the board so that you can uh, listen it all right now see simple concepts right how i am working out so this is my earth surface right you know the mass of the earth is m this radius is r right okay so what is my acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth from the formula you have earlier you have determined so f equal to mg and another one formula f equal to g m m divided by r square when you equate these two things you will get mg is equal to g m m divided by r square so mm gets cancelled so g is equal to g m divided by r square which you have to remember it. right variation of g on the surface of the earth so initially so g is equal to g m right g m divided by r square where this is this is on the surface of the earth at this point now i want to find out my variation of g at height h right at this point p now this is height h right this is my radius r and this is my height h now the total distance could be mine the distance from this point to this point is r plus h so now how my formula will become on the surface of the earth it is g is equal to g m divided by r square right at certain height h right so g of h is equal to g of m divided by r plus h to the whole square r plus h to the whole square so this is the relation you should understand to determine right now i am taking i am solving this equation 1 and 2 right g of h divided by g this is equal to g of m divided by r plus h to the whole square divided by r square g m divided by r square this is g m divided by r square so this this gets cancelled you will get g h by g this is equal to r square divided by r plus h to the whole square so this is one of the important relation that you should remember g h by g equal to r square by r plus h to the whole square all right so this i can also re re uh, rewrite it as g h g h is equal to g into r square divided by r square 1 plus h by r to the whole square right so this r square and r square gets cancelled i can write g into 1 plus h by r to the power of minus 2 so taking my mathematical equations expanding it in binomial expansion 
I am getting this as G into 1 minus 2H by R. Right? I can remove the higher powers because this height is right very much less than R. Very much less than R. And height is very much less than R. So I can remove the higher powers which is relating to it. And I am having the relation G of H equal to G1 minus 2H by R. So for a height H, right? Now you could remember. So this is my earth, right? So from here, I have to find my acceleration due to gravity at this point. My acceleration due to gravity at this point, from my equation, what I can assess is that G of H equal to G into 1 minus 2H by R, which means at a height H, my acceleration due to gravity is decreasing. One of the valuable point from the examination point of view, from learning point of view, that you should remember, right? So whenever you are moving towards height H, the acceleration due to gravity decreases, right? Which your formula explains G of H is equal to G into 1 minus 2H by R, right? So the other formula, when H is equal to R, you can make use of this formula GH equal to GH equal to G into R square divided by R plus H to the whole square. These two are the important formulas for an height H. Right? I hope you understand what I am trying to tell you. Okay. Keeping this in mind, we can work out on some of the other terms related to your examination point of view. Right? We, we now we realize that acceleration due to gravity decreases. So then what else, what are other parameters that we can assess from this equation is, right? See, for example, I'm taking this equation. G of H is equal to G minus 2GH by R. I want to know how much my decrease is. When an object is moving above the edge surface of height H, how much of acceleration due to gravity is decreasing? Which means, so... G minus G of H is equal to 2G H by R, right? This is one formula that you should remember. G minus G of H. So there is acceleration due to gravity, all right? Uh, it is decreasing. How much? G minus G of H equal to 2G H by R. So in the same ca case, you can also find out the mass relation, right? What will happen to this mass of the object? That is Mg minus Mg H is equal to 2mgh divided by r. 2mgh divided by r. This is the mass relation equation, which this also you can learn for the examination point of uh, understanding. Right? Even as again cases there are, right? What you can do is that you can calculate the percentage out of it. Percentage out of it, like from this formula gh by uh, g, you can also calculate uh, here. Uh, GH by G into 100, this equal to R square divided by R plus H to the whole square into 100 percentage. So you can understand how much percentage decrease is your acceleration due to gravity with relation to your height an object is being projected. So these are the various ways and means that you can assess it. Right? So the learning point is that so uh, whenever an object is at a height, the acceleration due to gravity decreases. That can be explained through this formula G of H equal to G into 1 minus 2H by R. So you can have a look at it. So next we are going to learn about uh, So this percentage, so you can also make use of this formula to calculate the percentage decrease g minus g of h by g into 100 that is equal to 2h by r into 100 percentage so these are the various relations right that you should learn when you are working out your sums but the fundamental results are these two okay fine next i am moving on to the next case depth now this is a surface, earth surface, right? Earth, radius R. Okay. Now an object is placed. An object of mass is placed. So this distance is R at this position. 
right right this is at a depth of d from the point this is at a depth of d if this is at depth of d this distance could be my r minus d i hope you are convinced right so this length is r described at this distance d and the remaining distance is r minus d so this has a mass m typically this will also have mass let i am taking it as m prime right what is the uh, acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth so you can look here g equal to gm divided by r square gm divided by r square so since mass is being concerned here this mass and this mass i need to know what is this mass mass is the mass of the earth so how will you calculate mass of the earth so from the formula density i know density is equal to that is mass by volume density is equal to mass by volume density rho equal to mass m divided by 4 by 3 pi r cube so my mass will be 4 by 3 pi r cube rho this will be my mass right so i am i am doing now this uh, calculation over here so instead of this mass what i am going to substitute i am going to substitute 4 by 3 pi r cube rho right g is equal to g is equal to g into 4 by 3 pi r cube rho 4 by 3 pi r cube rho divided by r square so i am getting so r square this r cube gets cancel so 4 by 3 pi r rho into g is my acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity right my i have determined my g now i want to find at a depth d so for a time convenient i am writing the formula here and i am erasing it right g of h is equal to g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r is one of my formula and uh, another formula is g of h is equal to g into r square divided by r plus h to the whole square right so my depth so g i have determined 4 by 3 pi r rho, rho into g what is the other thing i want to find out my depth so my formula says g is equal to g is equal to g of m divided by r square so now it is m dash g is equal to g of m dash divided by r is what is my r now r minus d to the whole square r minus d to the whole square so my acceleration due to gravity g so i can equate both these masses right from m i am having that is 4 by 3 pi r cube rho here for m prime will be 4 by 3 pi instead of r cube that is r minus d to the whole cube into rho so this is my mass of the earth and this mass is for this inner surface this mass is for inner surface so what i am doing i am going to calculate both the things so g is equal to g of 4 by 3 pi r minus d to the whole cube rho divided by r minus d to the whole square right this gets cancel the remaining g is equal to 4 by 3 pi r minus d right r minus d rho into g so i am calculating these two equations this g and this g correct right? so acceleration due to gravity inside the earth surface at a depth d so what i am going to get is g is equal to so this is at a depth d g of d so g of d by g this is equal to 4 by 3 pi r minus d rho into g divided by 4 by 3 pi r rho of g all right so what i'm going to get is that 4 by 3 4 by 3 gets cancel so rho rho gets cancel g g gets cancel g of d by g is equal to r minus d by r r minus d by r so this i can write g of d by g equal to r into 1 minus d by r divided by r so g of d g of d is equal to g into 1 minus d by r so again what this equation says this is the result that i have to study now this is the result i have to study now again at a depth the acceleration due to gravity decreases at a depth 
the acceleration due to gravity decreases which says g of d which is equal to g into 1 minus d by r how i can understand this right so this is the earth surface and this is at your point this is my d minus r suppose in case if my d equal to r d equal to r so what will be happen to my weight so weight is equal to m into g so m of gd which is at a depth i want to calculate my depth at this uh, i can i want to calculate my weight at this depth if i am going inside right if my depth is increasing what will be my weight but if d is if d equal to r this equation comes g into 1 minus r by r which is 1 minus 1 of 0 so g of d will become 0 m into 0 my weight will equal to 0 right so inside when i am moving towards here if i want to find out my acceleration due to gravity at the center of the earth right it will become my weight will become zero but what will not change anyway my mass is not going to change my mass is not going to change only thing my weight will become zero because of this condition when d is equal to r now i get studied so what will happen when an object is placed inside at a particular depth d so g of g of d equal to g into 1 minus d by r right okay i hope you understand this now we have three relations g of h g of h and g of d g into 1 minus d by r right okay next now i am moving on to the relation between the height and depth relation between the height and depth so at height g of h is equal to g into 1 minus 2 h by r right Again, g of d is equal to g into 1 minus d by r. So, what is the ratio between g h by g d? g h by g d equal to g of 1 minus 2 h by r divided by g of 1 minus d by r. You will get 2 h by r, right? 2 h by r divided by d by r so this is equal to 2h by r into r by d all right rr gets cancelled 2h by d this simplifies 2h is equal to d so this results holds good which is also very important results in the examination point of u what it says this is the earth if an object is at a height h so what is the relation of acceleration due to gravity right the acceleration due to gravity at so if you at this point that is at a distance it d there will be an acceleration due to gravity and this the, this acceleration due to gravity is equal to twice the height h whereas h is equal to d by 2 you can find the acceleration due to gravity of this height h where at half of the distance of d by 2 that is see here. so this is an object so here at the center you can find there is an acceleration due to gravity at the depth this acceleration due to gravity depth is equal to how many times outside the surface of the earth means it is twice the height right so that relation 2h equal to d you can study in this variation of g which is also an important results for your understanding examination point of view you can just go through this right what i get written so next followed by this we are having the variation of g again these two things are simple things that is variation of g with the shape right i am erasing it okay so the things that we learned out of here is so these also i can say right g of d is equal to g into 1 minus d by r right so g of d equal to g into uh, g d by r this relation says g minus g d g minus g d this is equal to g of d by r so g minus g d by g equal to d by r so for a percentage case if you want to identify how much of acceleration due to gravity there is a loss in the percentage right that you can make use of this formula right g by gd by 
G into 100 equal to D by R into 100 percentage. These results will help you to determine. Okay. Again from this relation, what I am studying, this acceleration of due to gravity, when the object is moving towards the surface of the earth, the again acceleration due to gravity decreases. Due to gravity decreases. Right? And I also know my weight is equal to 0 when D is equal to R. Right? That I had explained here W equal to mg when uh, depth, uh, when you go inside it is decreasing and my uh, the weight would be equal to 0. This is another one learning. And another one point, so when you want to find out this, right? So regarding your uh, mass, mg minus mg that is at the depth is equal to mgd divided by r. So regarding to mass also you can find out. So when sums are given you have to find out what are the areas they are trying to pull you in. Right? So percentage increase decrease or weight increase decrease or simply they are asking you to find out what will be the gravitational at the uh, inside the earth surface. Right? These things you can work it out. Okay. Next I am moving on to, so these are the special cases that you can consider, right? Apart from studying that, these are the important special cases that you should consider, right? Now coming to the shape of the earth, right? So earth is not a completely spherical shape that you know, right? Coming to the shape of the earth, right? So uh, it is like this, right? Which means it is the equatorial line and this is the pole, right? So the equatorial, so this distance is greater, the radius in the equator is greater compared to the radius at the poles, right? So now when you move from equator to the pole, when you move from equator to the pole, the weight increases, the weight increases. How you can say that, right? So it is based upon one formula. So what is the acceleration due to gravity says G is equal to gm divided by r square. So r square is the distance, right? The equatorial, the distance is g is inversely proportional to 1 by r square. If r is increasing, r is increasing, g is decreasing, right? If r is decreasing, g is increasing. So when you move from equator to your poles, this radius r, it is decreasing and so your acceleration due to gravity increases which means they like to say the acceleration due to gravity at poles is higher than the acceleration due to gravity at the equator it is not very much big difference it is of about 0 0.5 percentage it is about 0 0.5 percentage which you can determine from this simple relation g equal to gm divided by r square right because of the bulging position right at the equator and uh, the on the other side the poles right so the distance variation gives the difference in the acceleration due to gravity which says the variation of g the variation of g so if it is like a spherical ball like this you don't have much difference when you are looking into a uh, bulging right and uh, shape of the earth which is not completely spherical right which bulges at the equator and narrowing at the poles then there is a change in the acceleration due to gravity right Okay, so now we can say this where this Re is greater than Rp whereas the gravitation where it is greater, the gravitation is greater at the poles and uh, greater at the poles and it is lesser at Gp is greater than Ge, Gp is greater than Ge, right. So this relation gets satisfied these are directly proportional to 1 by r square. Next, so, uh, important concept here in uh, latitude rotation of earth. Alright, rotation of earth, you should understand uh, 